Welcome to making the most of your Bokeh widget for Smart Notebook 11. With the release of Smart Notebook 11, there has been a great little addition in what's called widgets. There is a widget called Bokeh. This was introduced with Notebook 11. Bokeh is a great way to add interactivity, creativity, and voice to your Smart Notebook and entertainment at the same time. What is Voki? Simply put, Voki is a free, customizable avatar that speaks and can be embedded into websites and now Smart Notebook 11. Here, here's an example of a Voki. Hello. The Voki is a very simple little tool that, once again, you can record or upload your own audio directly into. If you are interested in downloading the Voki widget, this link will take you directly to the Voki widget on the Smart Tech Smart Exchange website. Now that you know what the Voki is and that it works inside Smart Notebook 11, what else can you do with it? After doing some experimentation, I have found the Voki widget can handle more than just Voki. Here are some examples of items that are supported by the Voki widget YouTube. Very simple, very easy. I could use the internet browser that comes inside the insert menu. However, if I use the browser, I get the full YouTube web page and I have to scroll to center the video on the screen. Using the Voki widget and the embed code from YouTube, I was able to import a, a YouTube video into the Voki widget. And as you see, it plays the absolutely reality is. What else is capable you can do in here? Blabberize. If you're familiar with Blabberize, make a, make a picture start talking. Another very cute thing, similar to Voki, but it utilizes whatever picture you choose. Here's an example of a Blabberize video. Good morning, campers. Rise and shine. Other uses that it's capable of doing? Prezi. You work with a Prezi online presentation software. I can embed a Prezi directly within my Smart Notebook file. No more linking out to us uh, to the third-party software, another website. I can embed it directly in, so the Prezi will function exactly as a Prezi should function, and I can advance my way through the Prezi presentation. Very simple, very easy. It does even put support going to full screen if I choose to. Other usage: Animoto. Animoto works beautifully. If you've worked with Animoto, it is kind of a photo story with a little more flair. Works beautifully again, just in bed. Google Forms. I loved it. I was experimenting and found I can physically fill out a form on, on the website on within Smart Notebook. And it works well, even though that's not a city. I submit it submit another response, the students can once again keep filling it in directly on the screen. Where does that data go? It goes into a form results, which also I can embed and gives immediate display on the screen. Just so you can see the date and time, everything pops up. Let me fill out another one just for, uh, just for the fun of it. And I will say... And again, I filled that form out. This on the next doc page, it automatically refreshes. And I can continue to fill out the data. You get live instantaneous data. How did I make all this work? Very simply, I've already downloaded the Bokeh widget and I've saved it onto installed it into Smart Notebook. Inside my gallery, here's my Bokeh widget. I've done my search for Voki. Here's my Bokeh widget. I pulled my Bokeh widget in. Right now, nothing too fancy. Give you a brief example of how all of these work. Here is Voki.com. I've created this Voki. I want to embed it. I simply have to come in, click on Publish Your Voki. It'll pop up this dialog box. I need to copy all of this code. Just highlight it. Copy. I do not need to know anything about what the code means. I simply just have to copy it. Coming back to Smart Notebook. I need to paste it within this box. 
right click paste does not work you do need to hit control V once I've done that click go you will see the Vokey start loading works beautifully how do I do this for other sites such as YouTube again I insert the Vokey widget simple enough on YouTube here is the video I'm gonna click on the share button under share I get an option for embed when I click on embed it pops up the code again simply copy this code as you did with the Vokey and paste it once again into the box and click go this will put, load up the YouTube video as you see it does not import perfectly you need to read you need to resize this box simply enough by clicking the resizing handle and pulling it until the video fits the window that is all there is to pulling in these widget uh, pulling in other sites into the Vokey widget Google Docs does have a little more of a trick so if I'm trying to pull in a, if I'm trying to pull in code from a Google site there is a little bit more work to pulled in a form has it supports embed code directly on it. so I can simply click on the embed form it'll give me the code I take that code and put it inside that widget box to embed the document itself that takes a little bit more work what I found in this one I'm going to embed the I'm going to click on embed I'm going to take the code that shows for the form this is the form embed code it's not the document I'm going to take that code I simply use something like notepad to paste it then I'm going to actually go in and go to the live document go to live form when the live form pops up I'm going to copy this entire address from the address bar once I've copied that address I'm going to go back to my code and take out the other address that was already part of that code so here's that code I'm going to just paste it here's all here's all my code now I can just highlight it copy it go back to smart notebook and paste that code inside the Vokey widget that will get my Google document to work the way I want give you a good example it's let me pull up a document real quick a Google Doc let's find something very very simple let's create let's just create a document that says hello alright I've created this document I do need to share it make it public because if it's not public it's not gonna work here's my, my link for it once again I'm gonna pull up my code Let's put that code, replace the code within that. Select the whole, uh, select all the text, copy it again, back to notebook, paste my text, and click on go. After it processes, you will see there is now my, my Google Word document. This works with the Google PowerPoints, works with the spreadsheets. I have not experimented with all of them, but they they are working really well. I have definitely enjoyed learning about this Vokey widget. It can do so much for making the classroom more interactive and making your smart board more interactive. Thank you for watching.